everyone, it's Mana. Today's video is a must watch for anyone planning a trip to Tokyo. I'm a Tokyo native born and raised and still living here, so I know all the good about this amazing city. If you want to make your trip more enjoyable and memorable, stick around. Let's dive in. This time, I've divided my tips into four chapters. I will be talking about delicious food, great places to visit, and fun play spots, and lastly, how to enjoy Tokyo while staying in safe. These tips make your trip more exciting and amazing, especially if you immerse yourself in our culture. The first thing you have to experience in Tokyo, needless to say, our incredible food culture. You might know a bit about Japanese cuisine, but I'm gonna introduce you to top three must-try food. First up, miso soup! Did you know we have so many different types of miso? Each region has its own unique taste and flavor. There's mugi miso, mama miso, komi miso, shiro miso, aka miso. While you're staying in Japan, you can find miso soup almost anywhere. Miso is a fermented food and really good for your health. If you want to enjoy miso soup in Japan, I highly recommend having it at the sushi restaurant. The miso soup at sushi restaurant is incredibly tasty because they add fresh fish, crab, seaweed, or laver. These miso soups are like rich seafood soups. I suggest ordering them after you eat sushi for maximum satisfaction. The second food I want you to try is taiyaki. You can get these at many type shops. Taiyaki is shaped like a sea bream called tai in Japanese. It's a type of sweet made from pancake butter filled with sweet red bean paste or custard, among other variations. Most of the time, you can get them freshly made. The hot fluffy pancake with sweet bean paste is an amazing combination. Japanese people love taiyaki and I want you to try it at least once while you are staying in Japan. The third must-try food in Tokyo is fried dumplings. Known as kyozan in Japanese, I love kyozan and you can find them at many ramen shops. But Tokyo also has many specialized gyoza shops. So I highly recommend researching popular gyoza shops and giving them a try. It's definitely an unforgettable taste experience. Alright, now let's talk about two of my favorite places you should visit in Tokyo. Tokyo Guide sites will show you many tourist spots, but these places are always super crowded, especially with so many tourists around. If you want to enjoy library places, that's great, but one of my favorite places is Jiugaoka. Jiugaoka is close to Shibuya, you can get there in 10 minutes on the Tokyo Toyoko line. It's a relatively quiet area with lots of the home decor and clothing shops. This place is popular with people in their 20s to 40s and has a cheap urban and relatively adult vibe. If you want to avoid crowds, Jiugaokan is the perfect place to relax and feel comfortable. You will also find fashionable cafes and restaurants here. This area is a must visit. The second place I recommend visiting is the Monzen Nakacho and Kiyosumi Shirakawa area. It's a true local spot that has been gaining popularity recently. Many young people are starting to visit because of the delicious coffee shops and cool cafes popping up in Kiyosumi Shirakawa. Monzen Nakacho is close to Kiyosumi Shirakawa and the area still retains its old Japanese charm, as many residents have lived there for generations. You can enjoy numerous Japanese souvenir shops and the two beautiful shrines with nice restaurants, cafes around them. I love this place and I want you to visit it at least once when you come to Japan. The places that I mentioned are very popular with the locals, so if you are staying in Tokyo for four to five days, they are definitely worth a visit. The next chapter, I want to share my favorite two place spots in Tokyo. The first place I love is the Toyosu area. It has a large market, Toyosu fish market, where you can find fresh seafood. There's also a beautiful waterfront with parks and walking path, perfect for a relaxing stroll. You can enjoy shopping and dining at the large commercial complexes like Lalapoto Toyosu, which also has a 
play sport for kids, kids near Tokyo. Plus, there are barbecue spots where you can enjoy a barbecue with your friends or family. This area is well connected by public transport, making it easy to get around. The second place is a bit more personal, but you can find it anywhere in Japan karaoke. Karaoke is still popular across all generations in Japan. It's a great way to enjoy time with friends or family or just to have fun singing along. In Japan, you rent a karaoke room for 30 minutes in t a r b o l s and you can use it privately. This means only the people you invite can carry your singing. Plus, you can order a variety of foods and drinks. Karaoke is a fantastic way to relieve stress and refresh after building out your favorite songs. The last chapter, I want to guide you on how to fully enjoy and stay cautious in Tokyo. I understand everyone has their own purpose and desires for their trip to Tokyo. There are countless trail spots, and you probably won't be able to see them only one visit. Why most places are safe, but some places, especially those known for nightlife, require caution due to potential scans. You especially need to be careful in areas like Shinjuku, Kabukicho, Shibuya, Ropongi, Ikebukuro. These areas can have a strong, pre- strong Yakuza presence. If you feel a bad vibe or something seems off, it's the best to leave the place immediately. Many Japanese people who enjoy nightlife sports are introduced to these places by someone who really knows when it's safe or has a well known face. This is because some places can have, have scams or be potentially dangerous. I've shared some travel tips for Tokyo from my perspective as a Tokyo native. I want you to experience the deeper side of Tokyo, immersing yourself in a culture, savoring delicious food, or visiting places where the locals enjoy their daily lives. This way, you can truly really feel the essence of Japan and get the taste of our real life. I hope your trip to Tokyo will be excited and peaceful with the help of this video. Thank you so much for watching my video. Until then, I would be happy if you hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Bye.